hello and welcome to youtube right on channel and this is uh, for the class 10 and uh, chapter 6 and this third part nutrition in human beings the elementary canal is basically a long tube extended from the mouth to anus so in the figure we have we can see that the tube has a uh, different parts so various regions are specialized to perform different functions so uh, here it shows that how what happened when the food is entered into the mouse mouth we eat various types of food right so whenever we see some type of food right it comes uh, like water comes into our mouth so the this is uh, just a digestive tract uh, what happened right uh, when uh, naturally the food has to be processed to generate a particles which are the small and the same texture so this is achieved by crushing the food with our teeth since the lining of our canal is soft the food is also wanted to make its passage smooth and uh, when we eat something we like our mouth start watering so this actually not water but a fluid called saliva secreted by the salivary glands another aspect of the food we ingest is that it's a complex nature if it is to be absorbed from the elementary canal it has to be broken into a smaller molecules and this is done with the help of biological catalyst called enzymes so the saliva contain an enzyme called slavery am amylase you can underline this word and that breaks down the starch which is the complex molecules to give a sugar the food is mixed thoroughly with saliva and move around the mouth while chewing by the muscular tongue so basically the digestion pro process starts from the mouth itself when the salivary gland produce the saliva and mixed with the food to make it uh, soft and easy to break down into smaller pieces it is necessary to move the food in a regulated manner along the digestive tube so that it can be processed properly in each part the lining of the canal has muscles that contract rhythmically in order to push the food forward this this peristaltic movement occurs all along the gut so the movement through the the canal allows the food to get into the stomach from the mouth the food taken to the stomach through the food pipe or esophagus the stomach is a large organ which expands when the food enters in it the muscular wall of the stomach help in mixing the foods thoroughly with more digestive juice so with the help of esophagus a pipe like a structure bring the food down towards the stomach where this muscular organ mix the food properly this digestion functions are taken care of by the gastric glands present in the wall of stomach these release hydrochloric acid a protein digesting enzyme called pepsin and mucus now we can underline this word as well right enzymes are like pepsins mucus added to the hydrochloric acid added to the food the hydrochloric acid creates an acidic medium which facilitates the actions of enzyme pepsin what other function do you think is served by this acid the mucus protect the inner lining of the stomach from the action of acid under a normal conditions we all know acid burns the skin as well as mucus cell help or prevent it on the side effect of the acids have often heard adults complaining about acidity in their stomach right so can this be related to it the exit exit of a food from the stomach is regulated by the spinster muscles which release it into the small amount into a very small the small intestine from the stomach and the food now enters into the small intestine and this is the longest part of an elementary canal which is fitted into a compact space because of extensive coiling the length of the small intestine differ in various animals depending on the food they eat herbivores eating a grass need a longer small intestine to allow the cellulose to be digested meat eaters to digest hence meat is easier to digest hence the carnivores like a tigers have the shorter small intestine 
so small intestine is basically a large part coiled in our stomach after the stomach and it, as the herby waves take a longer time to digest it takes uh, it's longest in the size the small intestine is the site of the complete digestion of carbohydrates protein and fats it receives the secretions of liver and pancreas for this purpose the food coming from the stomach is acidic and has to be made alkaline for the pancreatic enzyme to act the bile juice from the liver accomplishes this addition to acting on a fat fat are present in the intestine in the form of large globules which make it difficult for enzymes to act on them so bile salt breaks them down into a smaller globules increasing the efficiency of enzyme action this similar to the emulsifying actions of the soap or the dirt that we have learned about in chapter 4 the pancreas create a pancreatic juice which contains enzyme like a trypsin for digesting proteins and lipases lipases for the breaking down emulsified fats the wall of the small intestine contain a glands which secrete intestinal juice the enzyme present in this eight finally convert the protein into amino acid and complex carbohydrates into glucose and fats into fatty acid and a glycerol so while the food is traveling through the small intestine it received the digestion of carbohydrate protein and fats now this also mixed with the liver and pancreatic juice it added to it and that helped them to separate the various other complex substances from the food the digested food is taken up by the wall of intestine the inner lining of the small intestine has a numerous finger like projections called a villi which increase the surface area of absorptions the villi are richly supplied with the blood vessel which take the absorbed food to each and every cell of the body where it is utilized for obtaining energy building up a new tissue and repair the old tissues the unabsorbed food is sent to the large intestine where the more willy absorbed water for this material the rest of the material is removed from the body via ns the exit of the waste material is regulated by the anal sphincter that is the end of this part